News 13 at 6 starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. You're tuned into a special edition of News 13. I'm Janine Lewis. We begin with breaking news just into our newsroom. We have just confirmed you see him there. News 13's own Rusty Ray will be leaving us now. There was rumors for quite some time that he would only be leaving the mornings, but we investigated this matter and we spoke to his daughter, Shelby. She confirmed to us exclusively the family will be moving to Minnesota. Now, in an attempt to catch up to us, WNBF and WPDE reported that Rusty was headed back to Maryland to be a Terp once again, but we have confirmed that rumor is not true. We do have some exclusives for you tonight with some of Rusty's co-workers and their reaction to this big move. Rusty, I really enjoyed working with you and I wish you and your family all the best as you move to Minnesota. I think uh, one thing that I will miss the most about you is waking up to all of your emails. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I will really miss um, just kind of poking fun at really bad television uh, that we've done together over the last year and a half. Um, I have always appreciated your commitment to excellence and how you uh, fully appreciate journalism. And um, I know that we'll probably still share those text messages and tweets. And I just wish you all the best. So good luck. This is very difficult. I hate to see you go. And I've got these Kleenexes here. Um, just not really for me crying, but you might need these because you're probably going to catch a lot of colds up in Minnesota. So I actually have another box for you if you want this before you go. Plenty of Kleenexes for those colds and flu season in Minnesota. Good luck to you, though. Take care. Bye. Rusty, from the time you began in my hometown of Lumberton through today, I have always appreciated your dedication to the people of our area, especially the special place you've held in your heart for the folks there in Robinson County. You have certainly been dedicated to making News 13 a better place, and I really am sad to see you go. You always have a place. If you'd like to come back, we'll welcome you on to the 9 a.m. show with us. I wish you all the best to you and your family. Well, it's that time, Rusty, time for all of us to say goodbye. And I guess now that you're done and moving up north, it's time to officially crown you weather trivia champion. I'm going to make a little plaque for you, so look for this in your mail. But it's going to look something like this. You are the official weather nerd. But if you could do me a favor and uh, just not post this to social media, Patsy's a little touchy about this, and she still thinks she's the winner. So we don't want to you know, push any buttons there. I still got to work with her. But I can't let you go without asking you one last weather trivia question. What is the average daytime high temperature in Minnesota during the winter? Is it A, bitter cold, B, bone chilling cold, C, stupid cold, or D, all of the above? I'll let you think about that for a while. And one last thing, if you could do me a favor, have your wife snap a picture of you using that wonderful snow blower. We'd like to update your fans on how you're doing living up in the Great White North. Have a good one. Hi, Rusty. I figured I'd send you off in true shaky video snackable form because I know it's your favorite. Just wanted to take a quick second to tell you thank you for all of the advice that you've been able to give me in my time here at WBTW. You will never understand how much of an honor it is for me to be able to learn from someone who I grew up watching and admiring on the news. So thank you for that. Rusty, it's been a great 10 years working with you and one of the most memorable moments I had at Darlington Raceway was I got to get in the car with you and ride with one of my favorite NASCAR drivers, Carl Edwards. Thanks to you and Matt Lincoln for providing that opportunity for me to be able to get in the car and videotape Carl going around one of the most famous tracks in NASCAR history. But it was a pleasure to be able to do that. And also, I'll never forget the time that you got to interview Polly Shore here in the studio, and I got called Baby Warren. It was so hilarious. One of the best interviews I've seen you do. May God bless you and your family and your travels to Minnesota. God bless you and your wife and Shelby. So Godspeed, and where y'all going to eat? Rusty, uh, together we learned Ignite, and sorry for the camera spins and all that, but I learned it, got it down, and thanks for going easy on me. Rusty, you made getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning actually kind of fun for a long, long, long time, and we got through a lot of cool stuff uh, with some cool quotes, Imus in the morning and some a lot of Maryland stuff and movies and things like that. 
And I tried cracking you up when we had less than 10 seconds in the countdown, and sometimes I was actually successful at making you laugh before we came right back on the air. And that was, that was amusing, I think, for both of us. But I'm going to miss you, buddy. And uh, it's, it's been real fun. I wish the best for you and your family as you start your next chapter and go into Minnesota and stuff. And we'll miss you down here in South Carolina. And things will be better when we move into the new building. And I remember when we drove to Florence, I'd just been here a few months, and we went over to Florence, and uh, we really coined that phrase, where y'all going to eat? Gonna miss you, bud. Rusty, just thank you for everything you've done for me, for getting me into this position, and you know, for all the help you've given me over the years. Have fun up in Minnesota, and this place won't be the same without you. You don't think I'd miss your goodbye video, do you? Even though I'm up in Richmond, Good luck, Rusty. You and Sarah and Shelby are going to have such great times up in Minnesota. You know, uh, everything from re quoting random song lyrics in the morning to pronouncing random Arabic words to calling me a nerd every five minutes. You made the morning just a little bit easier, and I definitely miss working with you and Patsy. So good luck with everything. If you're ever up in Richmond, you know to give me a call and just have a great time and enjoy actually getting normal people sleep. I know I miss it. Good luck. It's Thursday already. I'm Rusty Ray. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, Rusty. I hope you're enjoying your final morning shift uh, of your stint in Myrtle Beach. I'm not going to say of your career because you may be back one day, who knows? I know a lot of viewers out there are gonna miss you, um, and I certainly miss you since I've moved to Charleston, but um, you know, it's gonna be even worse knowing that you're not right up the road from me, two hours up in Myrtle Beach. Um, so that's gonna be a tough one, but I know that you're gonna have tons of success in your next venture, um, and I just wish the best of luck to you and your family and enjoy spending time with them hey, uh, why don't you try getting some sleep, okay? <laughs> take care and best of luck to you. Miss you. Rusty, it's a great honor to be able to take over for you coming up here soon on The Morning Show. You've done an incredible job of having such great success on that show. And Hopefully I can follow in those footsteps and continue that tradition moving forward. I also have to say thank you so much for letting my wife and I be a part of that Darlington Driver introductions. We'll never forget getting the chance to drive Jimmy Johnson around the track, truly. One of my favorite, favorite moments from being here in South Carolina. Good luck in Minnesota, and again, a big thank you for everything you did to make the morning show a success. I'm excited to try to continue that tradition on. Rusty, we're really going to miss you. We wish you and your family all the best. It's been a lot of fun working with you all these years. You've brought a lot of humor to our newsroom. Uh, we're going to miss your emails, teaching us how to talk in active voice and write that way and, and to use good grammar and all of that. But um, it's been a lot of fun. We appreciate you and we just uh, wish you all the very best as you take um, your next step in your journey in life. Yeah, you certainly have made a great impact here, Rusty. We are going to miss you from one Marylander to another. Of course, 14 years here on the air at WBTW. But your first gig on air, of course, was with the great Mac McGarry on its <laughs> academics. So we are going to miss you, uh, Rusty. Stay warm up in Minnesota, and we're going to keep this box warm for you here in the studio. <laughs> And your end of the week forecast features the hot weather that's going to continue. Plus, we also have an increasing chance for rain. The clouds are going to open up and they are going to start to weep because Rusty Ray is leaving the Carolinas. The weird thing about the forecast for the end of the week as Rusty Ray is moving to the Arctic Circle is that all this rain coming out of the clouds is going to start to turn to ice and freezing rain and snow, something we've never seen in the Carolinas before. All is a welcome to the great white north for, for Rusty and goodbye to the sunny, warm Carolinas. I'll miss Rusty. The thing I'll miss most is back in the good old days of the Fox News at 10, where Rusty and I could not be on the same shot together because we shot it all on the green screen. We had a lot of fun. We didn't have any sports on the Fox News at 10, but we did have the NASCAR notebook, the best part of the week. Rusty, have a great time up north and uh, stay cool and drive safe. 
Rusty, I've got to say, I absolutely hate saying goodbyes, and this one was one that I've uh, certainly been dreading since I first learned that you were leaving us here at News 13. It has just been an incredible time getting to know you and being your friend and being your coworker. I owe a lot of what I have today all because of you. You took me under your wing while I was a student at Coastal Carolina. You brought me in here to this station. This is the first television station I ever saw live in person, the first live newscast I ever saw with Bob and Nicole way back in uh, 2007 or 2008. And I am just eternally grateful for everything that you have done for me. But one of the coolest things I have to say, and a dream come true is something that we've joked about from the very beginning, which is the Meg and Rusty show. And I cannot say how much of a pleasure it was not only being your coworker for the past two and a half years, but also getting to co-anchor alongside of you last summer. So since we won't be having any more jam sessions, um, I've been working really, really hard on something and uh, I hope you like it. And no one will love you as much as, well, hey, you love you. So Rusty Ray, we hope that you enjoyed our video from Jill and myself. You have been a great mentor. You have been a great friend. And we only hope that we can continue on the standard that you have set for this newsroom. Stay cool, drive safe, my friend, and thanks for watching.